Hello, my name is Jesper Hall. I am going to tell you about the best method for teaching chess. I have been teaching chess for almost 25 years. I have had discussions with some of the best chess instructors and chess teachers in the world. And also I have had discussions with renowned professors of different disciplines. We have shared our experiences and taken the best ideas and put them together to something we call the smart method. The most important thing with the SMART method is that the children must have fun. Because if they enjoy what they do, they learn much more quicker. Not only chess, but also how to think and how to concentrate. The SMART method has got five elements. S for self-learning, M for motivation, A for adjustment of level, R for range of activities and T for technology. This movie is about the S, self-learning. And this is the fundament of chess teaching. Because it doesn't matter if you as a teacher understand what you tell the children. They must understand for themselves. And that means that the children must be active. You must let them try and try again for themselves. The starting point is playing. Let the children play, because when they do, they start to learn, they start to think, they start to solve problems. Another good thing with playing is that most children love to play. And for each game they play, they will learn something, very often together with their opponent. That is why I say that at least 50% of the time during a chess lesson should be devoted to playing. If the children are younger, let them play even more. Self-learning also means that you as a teacher guide the child towards the answer by asking questions. Instead of you telling what is right, what is wrong, you should try with questions to guide them towards the answer. Now, something very important for the process of self-learning. Do not focus on the result, but on the behavior. That the child tries, that they concentrate. Because in the long run, it's all about the ability to learn. A risk with focusing on the result is also that the child might stop playing if the result is not good enough. To summarize, let the children have fun and let them learn for themselves. Because this is what learning is all about and chess is a fantastic vehicle for this. So when you plan your chess lesson don't forget the S, self-learning in the SMART method.